Hi everyone. In this course, we are going to learn about dog breed classifier using uh, a very popular deep learning technique called transfer learning. Uh, so dog breeds, you know, there are various types of dog breed and uh, depending upon the characteristics of the dog breed, if you are an animal lover and would you like to adopt a dog breed, uh, you can study uh, the different types of dog breed, what are their characteristics, and then choose accordingly uh, the most the breed that suits your yeah, that suits your the needs, right? So uh, the dog breed is nothing but a type of dog, and uh, what are the typical uh, attributes of that dog, right? And you can uh, in this course we will learn about how can we classify those dogs into uh, various categories based on uh, the model that we have trained just for, just based on the image our model should be able to classify what kind of dog breed it is and you can turn it into game also so here are a few examples of dog breeds the first example here is a breed called affin pincher and it's expect it's supposed to be very loyal curious and amusing and if you if you so if you're a fun loving person uh, uh, and that is a breed that you should go for. So the Afghan beauty, the second uh, uh, image here, is a very, very beautiful dog. It's called a sublime beauty when you look at it. Again, it's very loyal and it's, it has a very sensitive nature. So the third breed at the bottom is Ariadel Terrier dog. Uh, it's very athletic, hunter characteristics and companion dog. So if you are into a lot of adventure, kind of uh, adventures, maybe you should adopt that dog. Then there's Akita uh, a breed, which is very courage, loyalty and dignity. And this is, this breed is usually found in Japan. Uh, then the next one is Alaskan Malabute. It's very strong, very heavy duty worker, loyal and playful. And the last one is American Bulldog, uh, which is very strong, uh, high endurance and friendly. Uh, you also probably know the story of Hachiko uh, dog. Uh, basically, this is a dog uh, which was very loyal to his master, and uh, and this dog and this story uh, took place in Japan, where every day when the master used to travel to his workplace via train, the dog used to wait at the train station for his master to return every day evening. Uh, so this process went on for about nine years, and one day. Uh, the master didn't come back in the train because he died because of the brain hemorrhage. But the dog kept waiting at the station for another seven years until he died. So that just demonstrates the loyalty of this dog. Again, this dog was of the Akito uh, breed that we saw earlier. So one of the common characteristics in all the dogs is they are very, very loyal to their masters. And that's why most of the people adopt them uh, and also these dogs can work as their nice companions so in this particular course we are going to use a transfer learning uh, so so let's understand what are the problems in the conventional machine learning problem so in a typical machine learning problem whenever so each model we are trained to solve a specific problem right we always start from the scratch we need a huge training data uh, and we just every time the data requires usually it should have data in millions right it's not very easy to get that data because you need to label the data and the labeling is very cumbersome right a lot of you need to send a lot of manpower or you need to send a lot of money to get the trained data right and every time you need to train a new model you have to start from the scratch so it's very expensive in terms of time cost and resources uh, also, huge training data is required for that, right, as we said. And also, the training, uh, the model with uh, such a huge data could take days or weeks. It also require expensive resources like GPU. Uh, it may not be feasible to train the model on CPU. You might need to use GPU or even uh, the more uh, performant uh, version of it called TPU, right? So, what can we do about it? So use transfer learning to fine tune. So transfer learning is basically a technology where uh, you take the model which was trained on 
uh, one problem to solve another problem. Right? So when we do that, we can keep we typically reuse uh, the basic characteristics of that model and just fine tune uh, the last few layers in the model. So and we can leverage just that, that model as it is. So which means we don't need a huge data. Uh, we can just reuse that model and just fine tune using a small amount of data, maybe hundreds, uh, maybe a few thousand rows. That's good enough for fine tuning the model. And we can get the same amount of accuracy or uh, same amount of precision as we would get, uh, like as, as if we had been training the model from the scratch. And there are a few uh, technologies that basically lends themselves to use the transfer learning. Convolutional neural network is one of them. So which we are going to use uh, uh, in this particular course uh, to for transfer learning. They just easily adopt them for transfer learning and we will learn how do they do that. Uh, so the benefits are uh, basically significantly less data to train the model. That means it is less expensive and it's very fast. It will be trained the model will be trained in a matter of few minutes or hours instead of days or weeks. Uh, so in this course structure, uh, we are going to learn about transfer learning. So in this particular course, we are just going to learn about the transfer learning. What is the transfer learning and how we can leverage convolutional neural network uh, to apply the transfer learning. Uh, we will train the model using the interactive Jupyter notebooks. I will go through the model step by step and explain you at every step what's going on. Uh, then we will also build a web application uh, to demonstrate how to use the dog uh, breed classification. So in this application, we are also going to build a web application where you can go and upload an image of a specific breed of a dog and uh, um, behind the scenes machine learning algorithm that we are going to use in this particular case uh, which we have already trained is going to classify the breeds and it's going to display the image along with the category so here is how is how is here is how it works so we're going to choose the file so let's say this is one of the dog image uh, and then click upload so it should it shows you the image of a dog and what is a breed right so that's our behind the scenes uh, model is doing. And this is doing very fast because model has already been trained. All it's doing is a prediction at runtime. Let's try some other file and upload. So this is another, another uh, breed of a dog which is called Terrier. And this is a really fun exercise. You can keep playing with this, right? And you can keep uh, showing the particular category of the dog and you can turn this into a grape. So we will build this application step by step in this course.